Okay, this is Hill Robertson from HillRobertson.com. Just want to give you a quick little tutorial on file permissions in Mac and Unix based systems. First of all, just wanted to. Here we're starting up a uh, terminal application. It's basically a shell prompt, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a directory, make dir testing. And we're going to go into the directory, change directory, testing. Okay and so we have nothing in the directory itself now what we're going to do is we're going to make a file one of the nice things about unix based systems is everything acts like a file and you can easily redirect input and output so here's the command echo we could do an echo hello there and you see it echoes or prints to the screen or the standard output which in this case is the terminal now what we can do is we can redirect that to a file so we'll do echo hello there and we're going to redirect it to a file test file.txt see so we didn't see it output to the screen because it actually went to the file instead of the screen now to look at that file we would type cat test file.txt and there's the contents of the file so now if we do it look at the directory we'll see that the file exists right here and here are the permissions if there's a D here that means it's a directory like these up here if there's nothing there then it's just a file now what this shows us here is that we've got the the first three bits here is the owner the first three bits is the privileges of the group and the last three is the privileges of anyone else so these three are the privileges of the owner which in this case is read and write and the group has read privileges only and anyone else has read privileges only so that shows that the owner which is me this is the owner field right here so as you can see hill r i am the owner of the file so i can read and write it the group is right here the staff group and they can only read it same thing with anyone else they can only read it now if we want to change this we do a change mode and then what we can do is let's see I believe it's owner plus oh wait well, I'm, I am the owner to group so that's group G plus W for write privileges and then the file name there we go and now you see write privileges have been added for the group so now anyone in the staff group can write to this file if they so desire so that's a very very brief explanation of uh, permissions in Unix based systems we're doing it on a Mac here same thing would work in Linux or any other flavor of Unix hope you enjoyed it visit me at hillrobertson.com for some more tutorials and other info have a great day